myself Janish Gandhi from 2K18 batch and my topic for short video explanation is iron deficiency anemia. So let's um, get into the video. The points that we covered in this topic are what is anemia, why iron is necessary, which type of anemia is iron deficiency anemia, clinical features of iron deficiency anemia and the diagnosis of iron deficiency anemia. So first of all, what is anemia? Anemia is defined as a reduction of total circulating red cell mass below normal level but in, but in practice it is not easy to measure the red cell mass so uh, anemia is defined on the basis of hematocrit value and the hemoglobin concentration. So anemia is defined as reduction in hemoglobin concentration below the normal range of particular age and sex. Here I mention age and sex because the normal range for male, female and infants are different. Now we will see why iron is necessary. Uh, in red blood cell, here you can see that uh, it, ha it has two parts, globin part and the heme part. The heme part has an iron atom at the center. Here we can see the structure of heme. In this, the iron is present at the center and uh, also this iron is necessary for the attachment of the oxygen. So if, the, uh, if there is iron deficiency, then there will be no heme synthesis, then uh, no hemoglobin synthesis and it will le uh, lead to hypoxia. Which type of anemia is iron deficiency anemia? Uh, from etiology point of view, It is nutritional disorder. <coughs> On the basis of size and color of RBC, it is microcytic hypochromic anemia. Now we will see the etiology of anemia. First, decrease in the intake of iron. Second, decrease in the absorption of iron. Okay, so uh, as we know that iron absorption may decrease in malabsorption syndrome. and diarrhea. Third cause may be increased requirement. This situation is coined in growing children reproductive age group pregnancy And lactating women. Considering this, the iron supplement and double fortified salt uh, with iron and iodine are included in uh, portion abhyan by the government uh, so that the incident of iron deficiency anemia can be decreased in this group that are growing children, reproductive age group, pregnant women and lactating women. portion of yarn. Fourth cause is blood loss. Blood loss may be seen in accident, trauma, in diseases like peptic ulcer disease, bookworm infection, and also menstruation that is excess menstruation now we will see the clinical features the first is pallor you can very well appreciate the pallor second is fatigue 
third is dyspnea that is difficulty in breathing fourth is palpitation fifth is coelunychia here you can see the deformation of the nail next clinical manifestation is stunted growth mainly seen in children and also in some cases alopecia can be seen also uh, the paleness is also seen in uh, the gums of the teeth and also the palm now we will move to the diagnosis it is very important part of the iron deficiency anemia so we will uh, one by one see the various method of diagnosis of iron deficiency anemia the first is bone marrow examination first of all please note this point it is a gold standard method okay so what we will see in uh, bone marrow examination we will see micronormoblast what we will see we will see micronormoblast micronormoblast present <coughs> second diagnosis method is blood examination what we will see in blood examination we will see decrease in hemoglobin concentration we will see decrease in mean corpuscular hemoglobin we will see decrease in mcv mean corpuscular volume we will see decrease in mchc mean corpuscular hemoglobin concentration okay so what are the normal ranges of uh, all this parameter hemoglobin normal range is 13.6 to 17.2 microgram per dl in men and 12 to 15 microgram per dl in women what is the normal range of mch 27 to 33 picogram what is normal range of mcv 82 to 96 femtoliter what is normal range of mchc it is 33 to 37 gram per dl okay now we will see the third method of diagnosis it is peripheral smear so as i have already told which type of anemia is iron deficiency anemia it is microcytic and hypochromic anemia so you can very well appreciate the microcytes that are small in size and the hypochromic how it is hypochromic because the hemoglobin is only present at the periphery so they are microcytes and hypochromic cells also you can see the cell with different shape and size so uh, what term we will use for this type of cell we will use uh, anisocytosis and coitocytosis are terms for this type of cell so what will what are our so what are our uh, peripheral smear findings we will see microcyte we will see hypochromic cell we will see anisocyte we will see coitocytosis now the fourth method of diagnosis it is iron profile the parameters which we use in iron profile are serum ferritin serum iron percentage transferrin saturation and total iron binding capacity okay so what will happen in iron deficiency anemia is decrease in the serum ferritin ferritin is a storage form of uh, iron so there is a decrease in storage there will always obviously there will be a decrease in a uh, serum iron because it is iron deficiency anemia also uh, the percentage saturation of transferrin is also decrease and the tibc total iron binding capacity increase it increase because so that the remaining iron um, can be maximally used now we will see the normal value of all these parameters what are the normal value 
first of all serum ferritin the normal value of serum ferritin is 12 to 300 microgram per ml for men 12 to 150 microgram per ml for women what is the normal range for serum iron we will see 100 to 120 microgram dl the normal range percentage saturation of transferrin is 33% this is the normal range please note this point i am not saying that uh, you will get uh, this range in iron deficiency this are normal range considering them you can um, you can find out uh, is it a uh, iron deficiency anemia or not what is tibc range tibc normal range is 300 to 360 microgram per dl from now we covered four uh, diagnostic method first is bone marrow examination second is blood examination third is peripheral smear and fourth is iron profile now the fifth one is free erythrocyte protoporphyrin so what will happen to free erythrocyte uh, free erythrocyte pro protoporphyrin they will increase in atp because protoporphyrin binds to the iron and form the heme part of hemoglobin Um, uh, now in iron deficiency anemia iron is not present as a result we will find free form of protoporphyrin in the erythrocyte sixth method of diagnostic is mentzer index in iron deficiency anemia mentzer index is greater than 13 now um, what is this index this is ratio of mcv and rbc count So this is it for the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you very much.